Hey there, you're watching Wildflower Video Tips. I'm Lindsay Moe. Today, I'm going to show you three different ways to create closed captions for your recipe videos. I know the list of things you need to do for your blog can feel a million miles long, but accessibility is not something you can overlook. If you're creating recipe videos that you're putting on your blog, you need to be creating closed caption files to go along with them. Today, I'm going to show you three ways you can do this easily. One is in Premiere Pro, one is on YouTube, and the other is just a text file. So it's really not going to be that hard to incorporate it into your workflow going forward. And if, like me, you had a lot of videos to go back to and add closed captions to, it's not going to be as big of a project as you might think. I have a lot of videos on my blog and I thought it was going to be a massive project, but I got it done in a matter of just a few hours. So I'm excited to share this with you. Let's dive in. The first way I'm going to show you to create closed captions is if you're already creating a video in Premiere Pro. Here I have a recipe for fettuccine alfredo. I have gone through and created the entire video exported it, and now I'm going to come back in and create my closed caption file. To do that, I can either go to File, New, Captions, or down here I can select New Item and Captions. Now we're going to make sure we select Open Captions and that our time base is the same frames per second as we recorded our video in, and that our video settings are the same as the sequence we're working in. Click OK, and then down here in the project panel, double click to open up your captions window. If I select in here, I can change the text. I'm going to say upbeat music plays throughout. Because this video only uses music, I find it sufficient to let them know that the music will continue on, and then set this for about whatever you feel is appropriate. I usually do about 20 seconds. If you wanted to be extremely careful, you could set it to the exact length of your video, or I recommend consulting with a lawyer to check with accessibility laws on whether or not you need to include the text throughout the entire video. If I had more things I wanted to include, I could press this plus button. For example, if I was talking in part of the video, and you can add text in there. If you want to undo that, simply press this delete caption button. If I highlight this text, I can then change the font or the size. I might increase this size just a bit. And we can head back to our project panel and drag this over onto its own video layer. Here you can see it shows up on the bottom as it should for the same amount of time that we set it for. If you don't see your captions in your video over here, simply click on this little settings icon, go to close captions display, and make sure enabled is selected. To export your captions, click on it in the project panel and go to file, export, captions, and here we'll get the option to create what's called a sidecar file. In this case, we will use SRT as our file extension. Click OK, give it a name, and tell it where to save. The second way to create captions is if you're working in YouTube. This is useful if you already have your videos uploaded to YouTube, or you could upload them simply for the purpose of creating this subtitle file. If you don't want it to show on your YouTube page, make sure you select Private when uploading the video. I'm going to go on the upper right to my face and select YouTube Studio. Here I'll go on the left to Videos. And now I have a list of all the videos I have uploaded to my YouTube channel. I can then click on the Details, go over to the left under Subtitles, and here is where I can create video subtitles. I am going to select the language, which is English, and click Confirm. Now over here under Subtitles, let's click on Add, and I will create new subtitles. 
Again, this is just music, so I'm going to say the same thing. And click this plus button to add it to my video. Here I can adjust the timing. Again, I'm going to make it about 20 seconds. And I'm going to publish. If I had other subtitles I wanted to add similar to Premiere Pro, you can simply click this plus icon and change the timing as needed. Now I can click again on these English subtitles. It will bring me back to a similar window. If I go up to Actions, I can then download the VTT, SRT, or SBV as needed. The final option for creating a closed caption file is useful if you already have a closed caption file. I have here a file folder full of VTT files for each of my videos. What I can do is click on one and go to File, Duplicate. I can give this a title for whatever my video would be. And be sure to delete everything after the file extension. So it is just VTT. You can now use this as you would any other closed caption file by uploading it to your ad network or wherever you're needing it. If you wanted to change anything about this file, it's easy to change the timing or text as needed. That's it. It's really not that hard to create closed caption files for your recipe videos. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to have you hit subscribe so you never miss another video. I am here every Tuesday sharing more tips on video editing in Premiere Pro. So thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time.